What's up, y'all? It's your boy G. I A Hawaii. Aloha. Just giving y'all a brief update on what's been going on with me. Um, yeah, I'm here at the uh, the store office in the back. Uh, of course, I've been doing both businesses, the computer store and the cleaning business. And uh, we've been in business with the computer store for about two months. I'm a full-time employee. Um, where we can't make the hours, sometimes I get part-time people to kind of help out where I can. But overall, with the computer store, we're doing decent. Uh, we're seeing slow growth with sales. Uh, last month we did about $4,000. This month I'm expecting to double that. Um, we're going into the holiday season. It's November 2021. We did Halloween. We're looking forward to Thanksgiving slash Christmas season. Uh, with this particular industry, it's it does kind of ride the same wave that a lot of industries do when it comes to the holidays. However, I'm not expecting a huge uh, income increase with this holiday season. Everything is just kind of in the air. Uh, not really sure what to expect. So um, just swinging it, just riding it out and seeing exactly where things go. Of course, we're going to be continuing to do the same marketing and, and all that stuff that we normally do. So we'll see exactly how that goes. But um, the ultimate goal with the computer store is in between $25,000, $30,000 a month. And that's pretty much our comfort zone with that. Uh, we got a lot of repairs. The majority of the income with that store comes from computer sales, of course. So um, just increasing that is, is the key with that particular company. And um, yeah, we're just, uh, you know, we're, we're slowly getting there, but, uh, but yeah, you just have to expect that, you know, there's peaks and valleys. Um, normally with the computer industry, uh, it does go up a little bit for the holiday season. It goes back down and then over the summer, it just kind of flat lines. And then once back to school hits, it kind of climbs back up. So yeah, we're doing decent with that. Uh, as far as the cleaning company, uh we're that one's a little more trickier um of course you got people a lot of it's uh, uh we do commercial and residential accounts with a lot of the residential accounts people are like well i don't want people in my house unless they're vaccinated and whatnot so we gotta we have to deal with that and of course people expect multiple individuals to go into their home and clean sometimes they forget that we are in the day and age of you know, where people don't want to work. So I have to kindly remind them that, okay, we're kind of short with workers right now, but just expect that your home will be just as clean as if you had three, four workers. Um, sometimes I'm able to complete the job with less workers. Sometimes I have to start and then maybe come back another day or just work something out with the customer. But it's just funny to me because a lot of other contract the companies that kind of do the same type of work like a plumber or something you don't expect the plumber to have three to four people when you call a plumber you're just expecting your drains to get unclogged and it's not the same with cleaning companies people expect three to four people to show up and clean their home and that's not realistic so sometimes you just gotta kindly remind them that that's not reality and um you know still provide excellent service but uh, so yeah, just doing those two things. I'm also still doing my security job, uh, working graveyard ship to supplement the income that I make with the two businesses and yeah, just staying afloat, just moving towards the holiday season, seeing exactly what it is that, um, that's all about. And, um, yeah, just doing what I can. Uh, I'm out here on an island. Uh, isolated a lot of times so people don't know exactly what's been going on with me so let me know what's been going on with you I'm gonna let you know what's been going on with me and um, yeah if you have any questions uh, about what it is that I'm doing or how to get beyond a certain point that you're at feel free to ask me um, I've been doing this for a little while so there's certain things that I know certain things that I don't and I also learn a lot of things from other people so um, this is a you know a free exchange of knowledge and information, and we're always in the constant pursuit of just more knowledge and um, 
you know, just using our resources to improve things, improve our business and improve the way that we do things. So, um, yeah, just, uh, uh, give me a holler whenever you get a chance. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below and I'll holler at you later. Be blessed. Aloha.